Commercial determinants of health and trade are also important drivers of NCDs in SIDS. And I believe the commercial determinants of health are defined as private sector activities that affect people's health, both positively or negatively. However, underpinning the commercial determinants of health is an understanding that large multinational companies can exercise broad influences on the economic, physical, social, and cultural environments in which our people live. In fact, through their influence on food prices, availability, and advertising, trade arrangements, and policies, they have accelerated the national shift away from traditional diets, resulting in increased levels of obesity, food insecurity, and of course, uh, rising NCD incidents. Sometimes, due to the size and nature of the commercial actors involved, governments in SIDS face impossible odds in securing regulatory protection to improve health. This is particularly true where governments' resources and budgets may be dwarfed by the size and scale of the multinational companies, state-owned enterprises, and foreign commercial actors. Collectively, these entities are associated with climate change, worsened nutritional environments, increased NCD incidents, and greater social and economic burden on already underfunded and fragile health systems. With health, it is imperative to examine the role of commercial actors, understanding these commercial determinants of health, the power balances inherent within them, and the critical role of global governments is an important stop in supporting SIDS to improve health outcomes in these circumstances. Barbados has identified this challenge and is looking to ensure that policies to remove industrially produced trans fat from the food system are in place by December 2024. Similar considerations were encountered in introducing the local school nutrition policy and the adoption of the sugar sweetened beverage tax.